we will be looking at how to demonstrate the calculation of the speed of sound. So, first of all, let me throw something at you. Uh, yeah. Did you see that? Or was it too fast? Okay, yeah, never mind. And you might say, you threw nothing at me, what do you mean? However, that would be a misconception. Because what did I really throw at you? Air. But what is air made of? Just saying air isn't right. If you look on the periodic table, that's it. Air is nowhere. I mean, there's oxygen, obviously, but there is no air. Is that AR air? No, that's argon. So, what does that mean? Well, that must mean that the, since these are the elements that make up our entire world, at least the elements we know of so far, that means that air must be a mixture of some of these elements. But which one specifically? Well, most of air is taken up by nitrogen over here and nitrogen I'll just put some info about it so let's put the square its atomic number will be six uh, is 14 its number on the periodic table is seven sorry this is an atomic mass this is the atomic number, and that's essentially it. Now, what about the second one? Well, obviously, that would be oxygen, the things we breathe. So we need this to survive, we need. The third one, we'll say is organ. There are many other elements, but I will go with these for right now. Now, you may be asking, organ is the 18th element. Shouldn't I have 36 instead of 40? Well, no, this is not a mistake because organ is an isotope. That essentially means that there are more neutrons than protons. So, that means that we have the isotope and in isotope, we have more neutrons than, uh, uh, you know, what is it called again? A proton. So, in the isotope of argon specifically, there are 18 protons, while there are 30, uh, 20, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. There are 18 protons and 22 neutrons which obviously means that neutrons are more than protons so 22 plus 18 equals 40 which is what we see now this makes up 78 percent of all air this makes up 21 percent and we'll just say this makes up the remaining even though it really doesn't there was carbon and all of the other elements but this is the most significant out of the elements besides nitrogen and oxygen. So nitrogen, we have 78%. So now, how do we, I mean, find the atomic mass of it? Well, why is atomic mass relevant anyway? Well, let me show you. Because of an equation, it goes somewhat like this. What do all these funky symbols mean? Well, you probably know definitely know this one, but what about this one? Well, that's heat capacity. And that depends for different substances. For air, it's 1.4. So what are we even trying to measure? Well, we're trying to measure the velocity of sound in air. So air heat capacity is 1.4. There's something called the constant, which is around 0.314 always, that there's the temperature of air, which can be anything, but we'll say it's 293 degrees in Kelvin. So now, finally, we have 
Also, if this seems really, really hot, be uh, reminded that this is just 20 degrees Celsius. So, that finally leads to mu. What does that mean? Well, that's atomic mass. And that's exactly what we're trying to find. So, since we're trying to find the atomic mass of air, which is a mixture, we need to find the atomic mass of the individual components first. So, for example, nitrogen, its atomic mass would be, wait a second, we aren't just getting a single nitrogen atom in air, we're getting nitrogen gas specifically, which looks like this. Yes, there are two of them, two nitrogen atoms, which means we're multiplying 14 by two, which gives us 28. Same thing for oxygen, even though uh, the structure of the things are slightly different. The Lewis structure is slightly different, but there were still two oxygen atoms. However, there was only one organ atom. So we have 28 times uh, 0.78 for the percentage, uh, percentage, then we get, sorry, just gonna move some stuff. Then we will get uh, 16 and eight, and since there were two molecules, we have 32, 21% is 0.21, plus organ, there is only one atom, so we're going to take 40, times 0 0.01 and now adding that up gives us 28.96 grams per mole. But grams is not SI unit which is why we will have to change. So we have to divide by a thousand which gives us 0 0.02896 small By the way, if you didn't know, uh, search up what a mole is. It's uh, somewhere around four times 10 to the 23, if I'm, I remember Avogadro's number correctly. So, 0 0.02896. Now let's plug that into our equation. If you plug all things in, you should get 343.2. 38 meters per second. Hmm, seems kind of like a familiar number. That's how to calculate the speed of sound. Thank you for watching.